Welcome to the Learning Horizon. In this video, we will learn about forward counting. Forward counting is also called counting on. Forward counting is a concept of counting on to find the numbers that comes after the given number. Example, look at this number line. It has numbers from 0 to 10. If I have to count on from 0, it will be 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. We can start counting on from any number. For example, let us start counting from 4 and find what number comes next or say what number comes after 4. 4, 5, 6. In forward counting, when we count on, each number we say is bigger than the last one. It is one more than the last one. Let us understand this with the same example here. Observe these two numbers. We began counting on from 4. We counted and we got 5, which is one more than 4. Similarly, when we counted on from 5, we got 6, which is again one more than 5. Let us now understand counting from 1 to 100. We will have two number lines. First, a number line with all the digits that is 0 to 9. And another number line with the numbers counted in tens, that is 10, 20, 30 and so on until 100. When we count forward, we follow the same order of digits. And when we reach 9, we move on to the tens. And then repeat the same order from 0 to 9 for every tens. Let us take an example and understand. And also build a hundreds chart together. We will begin counting from 1. And we will follow the same order as shown in the number line here. And count on till 9. That is 2. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Now we have reached the end of the first number line because we don't have any digits after 9. So we will be considering our second number line that is the number line for 10s. We know when we count on from 9 the number that is after 9 is 10. So we will mark that number 10 on this number line and we will write 10 in our hundreds chart. So now we have 10. The number 10 has two places, 10s and 1s. Whenever we forward count, we know that the number increases by 1. So 1s place is the place that changes and 10s place remains same. What do we have at 1's place? It's 0. Let us mark that on the number line here. Let's count again. Remember, this place remains same and only this place which is the 1's place changes and follows the order from 0 to 9. That is 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Again, we have reached the end of the number line because we don't have any more digits. So, we will move on to the next 10, that is 20. Now, what do we have at 1's place? It's again 0. So, let's count from 0 to 9 with the same 10's place. That is 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. No more digits. Move on to the next tens. That is 30. Repeat the same order from 0 to 9. 31, 32, 33, 
थर्टी फोर थर्टी फाइव थर्टी सिक्स थर्टी सेवन थर्टी एट थर्टी नाइन नो मोर डिजिट्स मूव ऑन टू फोर्टी एंड रिपीट द सेम ऑर्डर अगेन फोर्टी वन फोर्टी टू फोर्टी थ्री फोर्टी फोर फोर्टी फाइव फोर्टी सिक्स फोर्टी सेवन फोर्टी एट फोर्टी नाइन नो मोर डिजिट्स मूव ऑन टू फिफ्टी फिफ्टी वन फिफ्टी टू फिफ्टी थ्री फिफ्टी फोर फिफ्टी फाइव फिफ्टी सिक्स फिफ्टी सेवन फिफ्टी एट फिफ्टी नाइन मूव ऑन टू सिक्सटी सिक्सटी वन सिक्सटी टू सिक्सटी थ्री सिक्सटी फोर सिक्सटी फाइव सिक्सटी सिक्स सिक्सटी सेवन सिक्सटी एट सिक्सटी नाइन मूव ऑन टू सेवेंटी सेवेंटी वन सेवेंटी टू सेवेंटी थ्री सेवेंटी फोर सेवेंटी फाइव सेवेंटी सिक्स सेवेंटी सेवन सेवेंटी एट सेवेंटी नाइन मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट टेन दैट इज एटी एटी वन एटी टू एटी थ्री एटी फोर एटी फाइव एटी सिक्स एटी सेवन एटी एट एटी नाइन मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट टेन दैट इज नाइन्टी नाइन्टी वन नाइन्टी टू नाइन्टी थ्री नाइन्टी फोर नाइन्टी फाइव नाइन्टी सिक्स नाइन्टी सेवन नाइन्टी एट नाइन्टी नाइन Move on to the next tens that is 100. What do we observe here? If you see, we have repeated 0 to 9 for each of these tens. We have repeated all these digits in order. And whenever we reach 9, which is the end of all of our digits, we move on to the next ten. The same logic is applicable for counting on from any number. For example, let us count on from 74 until we get 90. First, we will have both our number lines 0 to 9 and other number line for the tens that is 10 to 100. We have to begin counting from 74. So, we will mark 70 on this number line and 4 on this number line. as discussed earlier we look at this place that is ones place so we have four here we will count on in the same order and this place that is tens place remains same that is 75 76 77 78 79 no digits after 9 move on to the next 10 that is 80 repeat the same order for 80 81 82 83 84 85 86 87 88 89 no more digits move on to the next tens that is 90 so we have counted forward from 74 until we got 90 so to summarize our learning so far forward counting is finding the numbers that comes after the number from where we have started counting forward counting is also called counting on when we count forward the number gets bigger and is one more than the previous number we can count on from any given number whenever we have 9 in the ones place we move on to the next 10 because we don't have any more digits after 9 one more than 9 always gives you a 10 if you have any queries or suggestions for us kindly leave a comment below also do not forget to check the description below for additional information on worksheets and anchor charts